Staying in the region, the school dropout rate is at an all-time high in South Sudan's Kodafan state. Many schools were destroyed during the three-year civil war between the government and SPLAN rebel forces. Adam Bales visited Sudan's Nuba Mountains region and reports many children are simply too scared to go to school. For three years, people have been living under the shadow of conflict in Sudan. Almost every school in the Nuba Mountain state of South Kordofan has been bombed or damaged by attacks, and at least 40% remain closed. Many children have no school to go to or are afraid to attend. Tunguli Model Primary School's headmaster, Butru Moham, says the school was bombed last year and now holds lessons under the trees, close to the safety of caves. One of the challenges which we have here is a, in term, is a term is security. That is our first things. Second, school stationaries are not there immediately. Uh, the one books which we, we have it here for people, it is only to be with a, a teacher. And these uh, books is not enough for, 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 for people to be, to be used. Children who do not have school books do mathematics in the sand. We are facing many things here in the school. Even we don't have exercises and we don't have pencils. And even we are lacking in, in terms of these things. We have the, these things come to and bombs on us. So we are facing many problems here in this school. This blackboard was damaged after a bomb fell just metres away. Officials say 120 of the 243 primary schools in 10 Yuba Mountain counties have been bombed. One major problem now is lack of teachers. Tunguli Model Primary School has 13 teachers for 900 pupils. The teachers which are left here now, who are teaching the, the children, they are few, they are not many, they are few. And most, they are not trained teachers. They are not given salary. And also due to aerial bombardment, also they started fearing also they went to the camp. Here we are offering ourselves freely People are teaching without payment. There's no any payment. Even to get even a piece of soap, even for washing the clothes so that you can teach the children, is now a problem. Head teacher Kuku Barnabas says Calder's teacher training school is still operating after being bombed, but cannot take all students. Because of the war, most of the secondary school closed down. Uh, most of the students, they, they ran away to refugees come and even the teachers who are teaching in the such a secondary school, they went uh, uh, to refugees camp in Eda. We left only with one institute, which is this one here, and even the number of the students which normally we admit, they drop, simply because of uh, accommodation, which is not enough. The Enough Project estimates 53% of children in the region's households are not attending classes. Because schools are not functioning, they cannot afford school fees and because of insecurity. Under a blockade by Sudan's government, civilians living in SPLA North held areas receive no humanitarian support. This unexploded bomb, dropped by the Sudan government, sits in the grass just metres away from Peace High School for Girls. Many here speculate the attacks on civilians are designed to drive out the population and destabilise support for the SPLA North rebels. Meanwhile, bombing schools is destroying a future generation's right to education. N, 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 this afternoon, children learn Swahili, a crucial part of Sudan's curriculum. Many hope to escape to Swahili-speaking countries where there is no war. Adam Bales for VOA News, Colib, Sudan.